Hi, I'm Xiao Xiao. Welcome back to 3 Simple Sashiko Stitches for Visible Monday. In the last video, we learned how to attach a patch using the basic running stitch Kushinui, as well as how to reinforce the damaged area and fold your patch perfectly. Today, we will explore another simple and highly functional sashiko pattern for Visible Monday, Juji Zashi, the 10 cross stitch. We'll demonstrate this by mending a pair of denim jeans. Let's start! Step 1. Prepare the damaged area and the patch. As demonstrated in the first sashiko for Visible Mending video, clean up the hole and reinforce the damaged area if necessary. Measure the damaged area carefully, including any part that is thinner than the healthy fabric. Then, draw an area about an inch larger than the damaged area so your stitches will catch the healthy fabric. And cut a piece of fabric, ensuring it is 1 cm larger on each side than the drawn area. For the Jushizashi pattern, I will draw half cm grades. A metric cutting mat can be very helpful. I'm using a water-soluble pen here, as heat erasable markers can reappear in cold weather. You'll find all the supplies used in this video in the description. Next, fold the fabric about 8mm from the edge, slightly outside the 1cm drawn line. You'll see the reason for folding this way later in the video. For the details on how to reinforce the hole and fold a perfect patch, please refer to the first search code for visible mending video. The link is in the description. Finally, attach your patch to your jeans with basting stitches. Step 2. Sew the patch. Before we sew the patch, let's see what Juicy Zashi the 10 cross sashiko stitch is. The Juicy Zashi pattern resembles the number 10 in kanji character. It is a type of Itomi Zashi stitch where the pattern is built stitch by stitch using a grade as a guide. Usually, each stitch covers a grade. Let's start with the vertical lines. For the first line, start with the tiny 2mm stitch we left while folding. Do a back stitch. This creates a beautiful tiny knot to secure the patch to the fabric. Skip the next grade and make your next stitch cover the grade after. Use a few back stitches to secure your thread. Then proceed with regular sashiko itomizashi stitches. I usually start from the middle line to secure the patch, but since there's a hole in the middle, I started from the side. Smooth it out. You want to make sure that there's one empty grid in between two stitches. Your first vertical line is almost done. Just one last stitch left. Pass your needle like this. Do a back stitch to secure the patch, which also serves as part of the pattern. Offset your stitches by one grade. Continue sewing in the regular sashiko itomizashi way until all vertical lines are complete. Once again, you are at the last stitch of this row. Make sure your needle comes out next to the last stitch. Then do a back stitch by pushing your needle back to the edge and bringing it out at the start of the next stitch. Jushizashi, the 10 cross stitch, is a fundamental surgical pattern that enhances both the strength and aesthetics of your mending. Keep sewing. Insert a needle from time to time when you smooth out the fabric. This extra effort creates a little space between the stitches and prevents the fabric from bunching up. For the first stitch of the horizontal line, do a back stitch to secure the corner. Let your needle come out at the center of the grade. Then sew from center to center of your grade. Smooth out your fabric every time you finish a row to avoid bunching.
Keep sewing, offsetting each horizontal line by one grid. This creates the kanji tan look of Juicy Sashi perfectly. It's a number of completion and wholeness. This pattern signifies perfection and fulfillment. When you run out of thread, extend it by making a slip knot with your old thread. Keep the knot close to the fabric with your fingernail. Enter your new thread, pull the slip knot, and you'll hear a very satisfying pop at this point. Make a knot with the two ends of the new thread. Then weave in the thread ends for a knit back. By the way, if you like this video so far, please like, subscribe, and share. Your generous donation is also greatly appreciated as it contributes to future quality videos like this one. The link is in the description below. Finally, make a knot and weave the rest of your thread. Your beautiful Juji Zashi tan cross patch is done. The horizontal and vertical cross lines make your mat strong and long lasting. The overlapping stitches create a 3D effect on the fabric. Folding the edges 2mm from the grid, this patching technique also secures the folds and edges and ensuring the Juji Zashi pattern is well integrated into the garment. In the next video, we will discuss the Kaki no Hana persimmon flower pattern and how to add patches on both sides for practical and aesthetic purposes. I'll leave the link in the description. Happy stitching and see you in the next video.